Hey guys! So in this video I'm going to be showing you a super easy way to make a flower pillow. So now we're going to start making the flower. It looks like this and that's what the back looks like. For starters, take all of your ribbon off the spool. That's really simple. From there, we're going to start bunching our ribbon up till it looks kind of like this. How you do that is you're going to pull on one of the wires of the ribbon and just pull it and pull it until it bunches up. And you'll probably have to like push it down and bunch it up a little bit more. Now before you start to bunch your wire up, you're going to need to go to the opposite side that you're bunching and fold the wires over. This will prevent the ribbon from falling off of the back wires because you need it to stay on. Once you're done with that, you'll probably have a lot of wire, so you can just cut that off. I kind of want this one. Okay. And then from here, you're going to take the two front wires and you're just going to wrap them together. Once they're wrapped, we're going to start wrapping the ribbon around. And this is just making the flower. Now as you wrap, you're going to want to take a needle and thread and sew the back. You don't have to sew too much because the wire will keep it in place, but you do want to sew a little bit because it will get a little roughed and just sew that around a little bit. There's no particular way. And then just keep wrapping and then sew again. Very simple. But that's probably a little too wrapped, too tight. So you can just kind of pull it apart, mess with it a little bit. That's the beauty of it. It's really simple to do. And you want to make sure that you're making your flower as flat as possible. Mine is a little coned, but that's okay. You, but you want to try and avoid it being a cone as much as possible. Every once in a while you're going to have to add a new thing of ribbon, which is really simple to do. You're just going to do the same thing that you started with by pushing the ribbon down, making sure that the ends don't come off, and then twisting the two wires together at the beginning. And for your end, you want to make sure that you twist your wires together just like you did at your beginning. What we're going to do is just place the new ribbon overlapping just a little bit over the old one. And then we're just going to start sewing again. Super simple to do. And then just continue as you were. Once you've finished making your flower, you're going to want to make two fabric circles that are a little larger than your flower. Once you have these two circles, what you're going to want to do is sew all the way around them until you have a little bit of a gap to where you can turn your circle inside out. Once you've sewn your two circles together and turned them inside out, you need to stuff them. and it should look like this once you're done stuffing. All you should have left to do is sew the opening where you stuffed your pillow. After you've sewn the opening, you're going to want to take your flower and place it on top of that pillow and then just sew around this outer portion right here. Make sure you sew really well because you don't want the flower coming off of the pillow and there's not really that much to sew considering the size of the flower. So just make sure you're pretty careful with that. And then your pillow will be done.